All right, welcome into my MTR on Android meeting room. So what do I have here? So on the left side, you see a studio X30 connected to TC8 and here below you see the TC8 screen. And so I made that bigger so we're able to, uh, to review uh, those different features and, uh, and functions. The first thing you need to do is you need to enable the WebEx direct guest join. Uh, so similar location where you did that for Zoom. So let me show you that. So you go here to more, you go to settings, and of course, depending on your configuration, it could be hidden uh, behind uh, a password. You go to meetings. Now all the way below, here you go. You will find now the option with Cisco WebEx. Here you go. You just need to enable that. That's the only thing you need to do. So then you go back. You don't have to save it. You go all the way back. And all of a sudden, the meeting is now recognized. And so important is, is that it's using the web URL to make sure you got the meeting invite there. Now with Zoom, you see the next meeting is a Zoom meeting. It's also not recognized. So similar thing, you go to more, you go to settings, you go to meetings, you go down, you enable also Zoom, and you can also configure if you want to have a custom name and an email, if you change that go all the way back and here you go so we got now experience for a webex meeting and you will see the join experience for a zoom meeting i think this is really powerful and any other meeting you would have just use the byod mode just plug in the usb cable plug in the hdmi cable and you can just share uh, the meeting you're using from your laptop uh, with the uh, with the studio i think it's really really powerful one. So uh, let me show you what is the end piece experience looks like. Okay, so let me click now on join meeting. So what you will see, it will use a sort of Chromium browser technology uh, and it will be connecting into the meeting. Here you go. So joining the meeting now. And here you go. We're now in the meeting. Really, really easy. So you got some limited functionality, yeah? so look at the touch panel right here below, uh, so you see you can have your uh, yeah, camera muted if you want to. Uh, you've got uh, there a mute button, uh, so very limited in controls, but at least you can do something. Uh, so it's a single screen solution today, as I understand, uh, so you will only have one screen uh, which will have this available, but at least I think already the ability to just join uh, a WebEx meeting is really powerful. Now on the screen, if you got a touch screen, uh, so that's the touch screen you see right there, you got also some possibilities you can mute, as you see right here, and it's nicely in sync with the uh, Studio X. You can here look at the participants. Here you go. So on the right side, you got the participants there uh, on the screen. So I think that's really powerful. You can really just, uh, browse through some features and, and functions in the case you got a touch screen uh, you can do some additional things you see you also hear some uh, emotions which you can drop down into the meeting really nice uh, as you see right here but that comes only along you got a mouse connected there uh, or uh, or you got a touch screen it's got the ability to receive content and uh, so if somebody shares a presentation or something and you got the ability to receive it. So let me do that. All right, so sharing a presentation now, loading up. Again, what you will see, here you go. So we got now a presentation uh, shared from a remote site, which will pop up on the Studio X. Uh, I think really, really nice. And uh, again, uh, uh, yeah, you can change layout, but not on the TC8, which you'll see us so on the TC8. There is no layout option, just volume control. Uh, camera on and off mute and hang up uh, but if you got that touch control what you see there's probably some more options as you find here on the top so i can set for example here video side by side uh, but that is more if you have uh, again if you got a touch screen or a mouse connect so you can play a little bit more with features and functions that's similar with zoom uh, you also had some additional options when uh, yeah when using that in the in the guest join function in combination with it if you want to review that, I would check out a video where I'm showing you where the direct guest join uh, with uh, Teams. 
uh, with Jack to join with Zoom, but also within the Teams uh, application. All right, so that is the WebEx guest join. I think really, really powerful and similar as now for Zoom. We have that now uh, yeah, also available for WebEx. But what is important, if you're gonna set up those WebEx meetings and make sure in the location field, you got that information. This is the field that, uh, yeah, the Studio X in native teams uh, with that button enabled uh, to support Webex uh, guest join. This is the field that it will read. So make sure in the location field, you got that, that information. Similar with Zoom, uh, you will also see uh, your Zoom meeting invite. And uh, as I said, if you're using the Chromium browser technology, uh, sort of guest client, and then that will read that, uh, that location field. So that's very important. So good to know is if you're gonna set the calendaring processor, uh, processing app on that, uh, that resource mailbox, make sure if you wanna allow external people to forward invites uh, that you enable the process external meeting messages to through. That means when I walk in as a guest into any company, uh, I can forward the invite to that Studio X and it will show it. Because otherwise, I know by default, the resource mailbox will not allow external uh, domains, external meeting invites. The other things, but these are by default uh, with, with resource mailboxes, is you set delete comments to false and delete subject to false to make sure that all the information stays intact uh, in, the, in the subject field and in the, in the comments field. And that's, of course, very important to get all the meeting uh, information out there.